Jason here again, and, and we're just going to quickly discuss the results of our joystick and LED project. This is the sketch. I initialized a couple of values. I initialized the pins on the LED matrix. I established serial communication. I wake up the matrix. I light it up to a brightness of medium. I clear the display. The button is an input. It will be initialized as high which we'll see on the serial monitor, and it will show the value of 1. And then um, we're going to read the values of the potentiometer in the joystick, and that value is going to be between like 0 and 1, 0, 2, 3. And we, then we need to rescale it down to just values of 0 and 7. That's why we have the value map, uh, sorry, the function map here. And then you can read all, uh, all about all this function in my blog later on. And then we're going to print some labels for our data so that it will look really nice and organized. Then here is where we light up the LEDs. So set LED allows us to light, light up the LED individually. And then it takes in four, four arguments. First is the address of the matrix. Next is the row, the column, and then a Boolean state. Since we want it on, it's true. And then if the button is pressed, the LED will turn off. If it's on, it'll light up. And then this delay allows us to control like the accuracy. If this value were to be bigger, um, the response time would be slow. So you wouldn't be able to see the LED follow your joystick as close as possible. There would be like a little bit of delay. So I try to keep it as low as possible. So now we're just going to upload real quick. And then I'm going to open serial monitor. Here you can see that we are already getting values and you see that the button has a value of just one. Good. So see, if I move my joystick to the right, it moves to the right. If I move to the left, it moves to the left, up, down, and then all around. And you see how like the values um, change on the serial monitor. We know that 519 and 518, well, I mean, UD and LR, these are the values of the potentiometer. And the X and, y, X and Y are the values that we translate, we rescale using the map function. So this is basically it. It's really simple. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching and like this video if it's helpful. Thanks.